All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakahakwadash, double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and peace and salutation unto the hopefully elect. This is the brother Bakwasha. And uh, I just want to go over a couple quick scriptures about, you know, praying and about calling unto Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Um, and really, this is our power, you know, um, in both senses of the term, right? Yahweh by Shimei Awashai is our power, and calling unto Yahweh by Shimei Awashai is our power as well, because these other heathen nations. Um, no one else can call unto you how by Shimei Awashai aside from the hopefully elect, you know, and everyone else is in full darkness, man. And so, um, it's just something that, uh, I've always through the spirit, uh, practiced and, and I know all brothers do, um, but being able to practice it in scenarios in which we're going to uh, face, um, and, and, and really, uh, having it being a part of our nature, you know, uh, as the scriptures, you know, are going to go into, you know, um, you know, praying without ceasing, you know, and, and I learned this from um, uh, Apostle Gabar, you know, as far as, um, you know, prayers um, and, and the utterance of prayers is as a form of prayer. But you can also just pray in your mind, you know, in certain situations where you might not be able to, you know, speak. You know, the words you can also just pray in your spirit and in, in, in your heart and your in your love. And, and those are also going to avail much. So, uh, you know, scenarios in Babylon, you know, start, uh, you know, uh, afflicting you and, you know, you're toiling and, you know, you're wrestling, you know, with, with this, you know, th this wicked society. And so. Uh, like, like, you know, like I may mention. You know, it's it's a, it's a it's it's a second nature. It's really first nature, you know, to uh, when in times of, of distress and anguish, um, you know, always just going to your by Shimei Shai and, you know, praying that the Lord, you know, uh, makes my words and, 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 and my countenance and and all of those things uh, to where, you know, I will be delivered from whatever the said, you know, scenario is. And, uh, you know, r regardless of whatever it may be, you know, th these prayers are always heard. And so I just wanted to go into a couple of quick scriptures as a, a reminder for myself, uh, because, you know, through it all, you know, I was uh, the Lord led me to the, the prayer in which I had uh, requested, you know, and, and that's the expectation that we should have that anytime we call on you, how about Shimei I was shouting. Now, obviously, it don't happen overnight. You know what I mean? But it can, you know, or it may happen in a way in which we're not expecting it to be. But it's always having the expectation that we 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 sent that offering unto you. How about Shimei Awashai, you know, and however he so chooses to render, you know, that uh, that answer, you know, we should be fully accepting of. So without any further ado. This is Deuteronomy, the 31st chapter in the sixth verse it says, be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them for the Lord, thy power. He it is that doeth go with thee. He will not fail nor forsake thee. You know, so regardless of where we wherever we are, you know, whatever battles we have to go through, um, just to be strong and courageous. Um, you know, here in the society, it always tries to, uh, you know, emasculate, you know, the, 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 the glory of your, how by extremely out shot, you know, and, and, and we, as the prophets of the Lord, you know, we embody, you know, that, 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 uh, that warrior, you know, that, that virile spirit that you, how by extremely out shot, that lively spirit that you, how by extremely out shot has given us, man, you know, so, so as the scripture says, he will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Okay. So let's grab the, uh, the next precept here. Let 
This is Deuteronomy, Salakia. This is Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Let your conversation be without covetedness and be content with such things as ye have. For he, for he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Once again, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, Yahweh Shai is always with us. You know, the angels uh, of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai are always encamped around us. You know, so us trusting and calling on Yahweh by Shimei Awashai is always going to bring more power to the situation to, to, to actually battle, you know, against these wiles of the devil. All right. This is James chapter five, verse 16. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avail it much. Okay. So the effectual and fervent man, you know, so, so constantly praying, you know, uh, never ceasing. You know, throughout the day, when 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 things start to vex your spirit, and and like I said, this is a reminder for myself, but also just uh, more so to know that in these situations, to to always rely on your how by Shimei was shy. It says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You know, so so continuing to be obedient unto your how by Shimei was shy. That's the agreement. That's the covenant. Okay. We're going to be Yahweh by Shemiel Shah's people. He's going to be our power. So calling on him, praying unto him is like praying unto our, our, our father, you know, or even in the sake of Yahweh Shah, praying unto the, the, the husband man. OK, to come handle the situation. OK, because it's too, too strong for us or it's too mighty or it just requires the spirit of, of Yahweh Shah or Yahweh by Shemiel Shah. OK. To overcome it. All right. This is first Thessalonians five and 17. Pray without ceasing. Okay. Now that's a commandment, man. It's not optional, but once again, you know, this flesh starts to, you know, weaken you, you know, starts to plague your mind, starts to, you know, get you off course. You know, you start looking at things from a, from a, a carnal perspective, you know, trying to quote unquote, get your lick back. You know, re realizing that us getting our lick back is praying to Yahweh by Shimei Oshai all throughout the day. You know, having Yahweh by Shimei Oshai uh, 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 bring torture to these people, man, bringing plagues to them and their families for for whatever you know that 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 they've done. Okay, because they're gonna be judged for it anyway. But even in this reincarnation, okay, that that that's our power, man. That's that's how we get our lick back to, towards these other heathen nations on this side until Lord will, you know, we being delivered. This is Luke chapter 21, and I'll start at verse 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, least at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come up upon you unawares for as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Verse 36, it says, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man. Okay. So we're praying constantly knowing that this is, this is not our rest. Okay. Knowing that this place is, is, is on the brink of being destroyed. Okay. And as scripture says, man, pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. Through what? Through obedience. Through being a, a, a righteous man in the eyes of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Seeking him ten times more. Okay? Rehearsing the righteous acts. Doing the things that, that are pleasing unto Yahweh by Shimei Awashai through faith. Because as scripture says, without it, it's a, it's impossible to please Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Okay? 
Cause th that 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 prayer, okay, is 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 literally giving Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah no rest. You know? It's is 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 letting him know that we are his. Okay? And in those times, just like you know, with a uh, you know, a woman crying out, you know, in a time of distress, you know, being uh uh uh, trying to be taken, you know, by, by, you know, uh, you know, Satan, you know, here in this wicked ass kingdom, we, we crying out, you know, Satan trying to take us. We crying out. We, we, we calling on to Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, Yahweh by Shimei Oshai coming through, you know, with that hammer. Okay. Literally destroying the whole earth, man, you know, for touching the apple of his eye. All right. This is Sirach. Chapter two, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Okay. Having confidence, having trust. Okay. That's what we're doing when we pray unto Yahweh by Shimei Oshai. We have trust. We know by us praying to Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, it's a wrap for whatever the situation is, man. Okay. That action is going to do more for, for, for us in our spirit and for whatever we're praying against, you know, uh, 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 cursing, you know, the, these other either nations, whatever that scenario may be, if warranted, okay, that's going to do more than any physicality or any kind of lick that we could ever get back, man. It says, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Okay. So, so yeah, hey, that's that's our power, that's our strength, you know, and using it more and more and more, that, that's what keeps, you know, um, these plagues and these other scenarios uh, uh, of this life, you know, the, the, the cares of this life, you know, from affecting us, you know, whether it be, you know, dealing with our children, you know, whatever that may be, whatever that may look like, you know, or maybe, you know, just, Hey, in the world, man, trying to, you know, put two shackles together, whatever it may be. OK, this is this is where the Lord says he's not going to leave us nor forsake us, man. OK. So continue to call on Yahweh by Shimei Oshai. OK. And like I said, this is this is more so for me, you know, me first, you know, but Lord will, you know, you brothers are encouraged, you know, by it as well. You know, as as a reminder, you know, because a hey, hey, Babylon uh, uh, try to trick you, man. Last, last scripture here, and Lord will, I'm going to wrap up. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 13. It says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How do we call on you? How by through prayer? Okay. And we're going to be saved, not just in the Lord will, you know, being delivered, but with any situation, man. OK, this is not just, you know, as it applies to, you know, being delivered from this hellhole, but on a daily basis, you call on the name of Yahweh by Shimei Oshai. Scripture says for whosoever. And obviously we know this, this is talking about Israelites. OK, read in Romans, the ninth chapter and read into the same scripture. It goes into. Uh, uh, only Israel can be saved. Okay. But it says for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, man. You know, so through the spirit, like I said, I just wanted to, you know, give praise to you. How about Shimei I was shy. You know, uh, I was obedient in the situation, you know, and the Lord led me into a path of righteousness, man. You know, because, because these demons, man, these, these wicked other heathen nations, man, they know, how to quote unquote, you know, to uh try to usurp you, man. You know? And and through the spirit, man, you know, I, I prayed to you by Shimei Al Shai. And I was like, Lord, you know, hey, Baba Kushai, you know, lead me through the situation, you know, you know, brighten my tongue, you know, keep me from saying things I don't need to say. You know, let me be, you know, more swift to hear than to speak and Whatever the situation may be for, for brothers, man, every brother know his own course. But through the spirit, the Lord, you know, after, you know, I calmed down, prayed, you know, brought me, saved me, you know, delivered, 
me through the situation to where now I have a path forward. And, you know, that's that's essentially, you know, power, man, you know, because that's what this world does, man. This world will try to keep you ensnared and trapped. You know, that's that's what a woman's uh, quote unquote power in Babylon being a whore. That's that that's that's a power of a whore, man. You know. Snares and bands. That's what this that's what this whole society is built off of, man. Deceit, snares and traps, you know. So through the spirit, man, you know, I, I, I exhort Akim, you know, to continue to pray to you. I'll buy me. I'm shy at all things, you know, because the Lord will deliver, man. And uh, that's that's what our big brother Yahweh Shai is for, man, you know, to, to deliver, you know, through all things. So, Lord will, this was edifying. Till the next time, Shalom.